healing broken heart is a process that is going to take you some time. However, you should not give up on this and lay on your bed through all your days and just ruminate about this person that lived you or with whom you were in a relationship. Many people don't understand some crucial aspects about healing after having broken heart. When your heart is broken in relationship or after relationship, this is immense possibility to look into yourself and to get a lot of consciousness, a lot of wisdom, a lot of awareness about how we work and about the other person. I know that is very painful because I experienced it myself many times. And when you see from the distance that in the past, that was very, very brutal moment for, for us, for me, for example, I was laying, my emotions were terrible. I cannot even describe them. I was feeling like I was in the hell. But also in these moments, I discovered a lot about myself. And later when I overcame it, came it I realized how strong I am. After, when you have broken heart, you, we usually blame the other person, but also we don't realize that we are also responsible for how we feel. In my past relationship, I didn't realize this, and I was blaming the second person without knowing that it was also my fault. And when you have broken heart, you cannot understand some things on a logical level, because you're your head is full of emotions like a roller coaster and you cannot find this peace within yourself if we cannot find this peace within ourselves it's hard for us to take proper decisions to maintain our good habits to live in on a good level and a lot of people after their first relationship they cannot recover for a very long time because they are missing this sweet emotions, these moments of ect ecstasy, this beautiful closeness, this bond with this person. But it leaves us a very important lesson. Why we felt these emotions only with this person? Why we, why we cannot feel it when we are alone? We are the managers of our body and we should manage our emotions how we want. We should not be dependent on the second person to elicit some kind of emotions in our body. We can create it ourselves. But how to do it? And why? Why? Because love is one of the greatest things that we can experience. And if we, if we can provide it for ourselves, then we will love other people unconditionally and it will not be transaction. We will be just so full of love that we can give, 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 and others will give us but we don't expect this. However, if you lack this sense of love, this sense of abundance in yourself, you're going to take it from other people and on some level, you can be an energetical vampire. But okay, let's get back to the topic. How to heal your heart after being heartbroken, after heart situation in a relationship. Spend more time with yourself, observing, meditating. Don't focus on getting new partner or getting into new friendships, because in most cases we do, it, we do this out of desperation. When you will focus on your passions, on rediscovering yourself, your desires, your hidden emotions, you're going to improve your life and get on the right track much faster. In the past, I used to engage myself in too many friendships after being heartbroken after ending my previous relationship and it was so pathetic as I see this now but I know and I knew in these moments that I was doing it only to kill my time to not spend time with myself why because by spending time with myself in this time I will go crazy because my head was full of bad thoughts of terrible, low emotions, visions, 
that it was hard for me to stay with myself. So I needed to go out to force myself to meet new people, to pretend that everything is okay. But on the emotional level, it was even more destroying for me. But it was on some level helpful for one moment. But in the long term, when I was coming home from these meetings, I was feeling much worse. And I was feeling that I'm not even getting closer to my purpose. And in many cases, in most cases, practically in every case, when we create relationship, we realize a lot of things that we knew on a deep level, but now we realize this and it's hard for us to reconcile with them and to do something in order to improve our life. Maybe to dedicate more time for our passions. Maybe to change some things in relationship, in our general relations with people. Because maybe we are not creating conscious relationships and later we are not happy. Because how can we, can, how can we be happy if our relations are superficial? One deep relationship with one person can replace hundreds of superficial friendships and relationships with people. Yes, because deep connection with people is this what we want. So if you have broken heart now, dedicate some time to educate yourself about uh, relationships, about how to create beautiful bonds with people, about human psychology, because that is going to help you tremendously to understand what mistakes not to do and how to create better connection next time. Because our whole life is about creating connections with people. And if you can create deep connections with people, we are going to trans transform our whole being and help others on so deep level that they are going to be grateful that they meet us to the end of their life. But it requires deep immersion into this relationship and not only talking out of desperation. How long it will take for us to recover? For you, maybe, because I'm, I passed it and I, I don't have this problem anymore of broken heart because I healed it completely, but maybe you're going through it right now and you're probably asking yourself how long it will take. Well, it depends, but as I said in the beginning, it's a process and you should not be in a hurry to do this as fast as you can. Because as I said, this process from the perspective when you will pass it in, a in the future and when you will still this, see this, you will be very, very thankful that you got through this and you will see how many things you've learned. But there is other aspect that we need to implement these lessons in our life and don't make the same mistakes again. Because we are emotional and later, later when we will feel this despair again, we will feel sadness in a, at some point in the future, we can remain to the old version of ourselves and do the same mistakes again. And in these moments, we might sit when we have, feel very sad and remind us very important things, very important conclusions that we get about our life that we need to stick on. For example, to not engage ourselves into relations with other people by desperation. If we feel bad, that's not time for us to go and meet new people because if we have ruined emotional life, we are going to affect negatively the other people. Of course, there are some exceptions where somebody can heal you fast by their energy, by their knowledge, by their help, wisdom. But in most cases, not. Because most people nowadays have totally not organized, not conscious and not uh, emo they don't have their emotional level on the balance um, they, they, they don't have balanced their emotions they don't understand energy so how, how they are going to help you if they are not happy in their lives they don't understand mechanics how happiness works and how relationships works in order to make them very very valuable you see you see now that you have immense possibility 
to improve your life if you are heartbroken. But you need to believe this and you need to apply these lessons. You need to stay with yourself and don't block emotions, uh, don't block these emotions, don't block these thoughts about your ex-partner. That's pointless. You're not going to cheat your emotional brain. Oh, I don't love this person. I don't love this. This is rational, but we are in 95% emotional and we need to accept our emotions. We need to see them. And even if you still on emotional level love your ex-partner, just feel these emotions, don't block them. Of course, if you entered this relationship because it was toxic, it ended with betrayal, you should not contact, you should cut, cut contact completely with this person. But if you feel these emotions about this person, just let it, them be. They will disappear after some time. But if you will block them, you can block yourself from feeling love in a, your life. And love is something much bigger, much deeper than only love in a relationship of two people. Because love is something that you have in ourselves and we can create it. But that's the topic for another video. I hope you like it. Leave a like, comment, share this video with people who need it and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.